Good afternoon, this is Sherwood Tucker with American Ag Marketing and Trading Company from downtown Chicago on this November 12th, Tuesday, 2013. And let's get out to the markets to get the closing prices in action here. Had December corn settling down two and a half on the day at 432 and a quarter. And the November beans up 12, 1320, with the January up 12 and three quarters at 13, 13 and three quarters. December Chicago wheat down one cent, 645 and a quarter. With the March uh, down one and a half at 655 and three quarters. December KC wheat down three and a half, 702 and three quarters. With the March KC down four and a half, 703 and a quarter. December bean meal up uh, 540 at 42750. With the December oil up 34 at 4076. January rice down 9, 1554. With the November feeders up 45 at 164.65. January feeders up 12 at 164.30. And the December fats down 17, 132.57 with the February down 22 at 1341.50. December hogs uh, down 85, 87.20, with February hogs down 87 at 91.35. The December uh, Dow futures closed down 13 at 15.710, with the December S&P down two and three quarter points at 17.64 and three quarters. December gold down uh, big again today, 12.65.40, down about $16. But uh, December silver, really big down day, down almost 60 cents at $20.70. December dollar index uh, hanging in there, 81.21. December crude down big, down over $2 at 93.05 settling price for the day. And we have the December cotton up 94, 77.91, with the March up 9 at 78.29. March cocoa up 29, 26.30. December coffee up 250, 105.75. March sugar down nine ticks at 17.88. And the December 30 year bonds down three ticks at 131.12. Couple items uh, in the corn market is that the uh, trade's keeping an eye on a potential for a uh, seasonal post harvest rally. And also they're starting to look ahead to early January when the index funds have to rebalance. And they're going to have to buy up to a record 100,000 tons of corn this year, which could possibly set the straight stage of a 2010 type price action that saw prices rise into early January and then collapse after the January final production report. So we'll see if history can report, repeat itself. Markets are, uh, you know, are always maximally perverse, so we'll definitely keep an eye on that. Oil was down big, crude oil was down big, hitting a new uh, five month low as U.S. stockpiles again grew. And an inter interesting note, the uh, IEA was quoted as saying that the U.S. is going to surpass Russia and Saudi Arabia as the world's top oil producer by 2015, if you can believe that. Metals were also down big today as we went over with gold and silver down sharply. And that's basically on concerns of the Fed starting to taper before even the end of the year now trade starting to circulate talk about that with stronger economic economic data coming out so uh, it's going to be pretty volatile i think from here on out in the metals to the end of this year the beginning of next year be interesting to see what the fed does but they did pull a surprise in september when they were expected to taper and they didn't now we have a new fed chair woman uh, being elected so that throws another factor into the equation uh, that's it for this afternoon's report. Hope you had a great day today. My name's Sherwood Tucker. Feel free to visit our website at www.americanagmarketing.com. You can sign up for our blog. We have daily research and uh, commentary on there. And again, we're not pests. We're not going to harass you if you sign up. Your information will never be shared. And also, you can follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook. And also, if you feel like you're paying too much in commissions or transaction fees, feel free to give us a call directly, 1-800-207-2174, or send us an email, and we'll be happy to give you a free quote as of what we can do for you and your operation and uh, trading business. Thanks again, and have a great night. Be safe. Thank you.